For those of you who are taking writing workshop, just wanted to spend a few minutes distinguishing between a thesis statement and a topic sentence. If you'll notice here, your thesis statement should contain three parts. You should uh, recognize this because it's similar to developing a thesis statement for your first essay from unit one for the persuasive essay. It's gonna contain three sections. First, you're gonna begin with a topic, then an opinion, then you'll have some sort of connector depending on uh, the points that are gonna come afterwards. And then you have three points, or we could think of it in terms of three reasons, three ways, three locations, instances, events, etc. Depends a lot on how you're structuring the overall organization of your essay, moving from one paragraph to the next. Remember we talked about using a point by point approach to organizing our three topic or our three body paragraphs. So think of the three points that you're going to list in your thesis statement as providing the main topic of each of the topic sentences that are going to come in your subsequent uh, top, uh, body paragraphs. All right now the topic sentence, each paragraph, each body paragraph is going to begin with a topic sentence. And a topic sentence is very similar to a thesis statement, but it differs in two ways. We'll start with the similarities first. A topic sentence is going to also have a topic and opinion. So you're going to have a subject and a verb. And in both cases, both the thesis statement and the topic sentence should be an arguable claim. It should be a proposition. It should be some idea that has two points of view. It's not a fact, but it is a position. It, it, think of it as uh, much like what we've talked about, the overused example using cell phones in class. Right. So whatever your opinion is about cell phones in class, there should be an alternative or a counter argument to that that also has evidence to support it. Right, so in those case, in this case, the thesis statement and topic sentence are similar in that they both have a topic and opinion. They both are arguable. They are both taking perspective or a position, and there should be basically there should be the counter. There should be a counter to the thesis. There should be a counter to your topic sentence. Now the difference here, there are basically two key. Uh, differences between a thesis statement and a topic sentence. The first main difference is that typically the thesis statement will include three points or reasons, right, that follow the opinion, whereas a topic sentence, usually it's not necessary. In fact, it's not uh, recommended that you have a list of anything in your topic sentence. So in that way, it's different. The second Thing, or the second aspect that's very important when distinguishing differences between the thesis statement and the topic sentence is that the topic sentence is more specific. This can be the more challenging aspect. Many of uh, the discussions that I have with students when they're developing a, any type of five-paragraph essay is working on developing topic sentences that are more specific. Right, So think of the topic from the topic sentence coming directly from the points of the thesis statement. Say that again. Topic from each of your three topic sentences should come directly and explicitly from the three points that are listed or that are found in your thesis statement. So if you have three reasons, for example, first reason is going to be articulated in the first topic sentence. The second reason coming from your thesis statement is going to be your second topic sentence from your second body paragraph. And the third reason mentioned in your thesis statement is going to be the third topic sentence in your third body paragraph. This discussion really is basically the same as it applies uh, to the persuasive essay, right? And so this, uh, this idea here we want to think about when we're developing uh, our thesis statement. And my last thing I'll say here, the final point I want to make is that the thesis statement only needs to address your initial argument. Okay, So we're going to kind of unpack or we're going to reveal 
the different arguments, the initial argument, the counter argument, and the rebuttal throughout the three body paragraphs. Do not include the counter or the rebuttal in the thesis statement because again, the thesis statement is your overall opinion. It's a general opinion and you're going to pick one or the other. You're going to pick a side. You're going to pick a side to debate if you want to think of it as a debate. So the thesis statement should only address the initial argument. As you develop each of your body paragraphs, that's where you're going to construct your argument. You're going to build your argument throughout the sentences that you are developing throughout each of the three body paragraphs. So I think I'll stop there. This has been just a very quick overview and making a distinction between the thesis statement and topic sentence, although there are some commonalities. Uh, be very careful when you're developing uh, the thesis statement and later your topic sentences. Again, to try to focus on building thesis statements, sorry, topic sentences that are more specific, but that link directly to a thesis statement.